Hey guys, Lawrence from Express Unity here, and today I figured, um, since one of you asked in the comments um, some time ago now, I'm pretty sure, uh, basically he wanted to know how we can make a multiple map selection um, for a multiplayer game. Um, and so I'm back in our Photon um, and uh, Playfab project, the very first uh, project we worked on on this channel. Um, and I'm going to quickly show you how to do, do it. Once again, like I always do it, this video isn't planned. Um, so basically I do that, so if I run into any problems or errors, um, uh, then I fix it on camera and, and you guys uh, will be basically be able to learn from my, uh, my mistakes. Uh, another quick thing, um, I do apologize for not uploading any videos lately, I've just had heaps of work with my new job, um, and so yeah, that's just been consuming so much of my time. Um, a few of you did end up saying if I've left the channel for dead. No, I haven't. I'm I'm never going to do that. It's just um, I I try and upload videos when I can, when I have time. Unfortunately, our house still hasn't sold, um, so that's chewing up a lot of my time as well. Um, but yeah, basically, sorry sorry about all, all the delays and stuff. I I will try and get back on schedule. Um, I might start. Um, doing a few things outside of Playfab and um, Photon and just do uh, just little uh, tutorials here and there just so I can get something out. Um, they, they won't be like how to jump things, stuff like that. Um, a little bit more complicated, not quite sure what I'll do yet, but um, yeah, u useful things. Um, Alright, anyway, so let's get to trying to do this. Um, so I'll basically show you guys how you can change map um, in this video and basically the same thing applies when you're on that map as well so for now let's go ahead and save as and let's go to our scenes currently we're in our sample scene and let's just call this one sample scene 2 so sample scene 2 let's just make it a bit different so we can tell so let's just maybe split the walls up so it does look a little bit different okay we'll save that and let's head back to our uh, original scene alright so open up the MP manager we had that in the multiplayer manager and MP manager and the first thing we want to do uh, if I can remember, I believe it's in on joined room. We want to call uh, photon network uh, dot automatic sync scene. We call want to call that equal to true. Basically, what this will do is, if the master client is connected to a different scene to the other clients, um, it will basically a little bit lag there. Uh, it'll basically attempt uh, to change their scene over. So let's go ahead and create a quick a quick variable here. Um, I'm not going to be doing anything in UI, I'm just going to be doing it all in code and then I'm should, it's easy enough for you guys to do it, uh, to translate it all in uh, into some sort of form of UI. So let's go make a public int, we'll call it map ID. Uh, actually no, let's call it, let's make it a string. We'll call it map name. Um, and the default will be sample scene. Okay, <coughs> so what we want to do is let's see here. Just trying to figure out where we change this. I think what we want to do is. We want to. Da -da -da. Now we'll just try this for now. So on the start, let's just say um, uh, scene management manager dot load scene, and we'll make it equal to map name. So. 
basically now that we have this setting here what should happen is that uh, any other client that joins should sync. However, when we switch to that scene, this is going to be a completely new map manager. So, we'll just quickly try it. I think it might end up might end up breaking a little bit. We'll see what happens. Yeah, um, let's see what's happening here. Realized target has been destroyed. All right, so I'm pretty sure it's this stuff here that's happening. Um, let me see if Photon Network actually has a uh, an actual some sort of change scene. No, it doesn't. Uh, okay. So, let's see, uh, do we automatically connect as soon as, ooh, oh, okay, I think, um, because this is in start, right, what's happening is the scene is being changed back here and then this is a new one and then what's happening again is this is being called again so unity is constantly changing the scene um, which is not what we want uh, so let's let's go um, hmm. Alright, let's create a different function. We'll make it public void, we'll say change map, and then we'll just, oops, that's not what I want. Um, I was basically looking for some green screens before. Uh, so then we want to do scene manager dot load scene, and we want to go into map name. Okay. So, we might actually end up having to make some UI for this anyways. Um, oh, don't mind my dog, sorry about that. Um, so, let's go ahead and... Yeah, on the canvas... This button that we've used before for our move speed, let's go ahead and drag the multiplayer manager into that. And let's call our, uh, where is it, am I blind, oh, I called it chance map, if we want to actually name that correctly, change map. <coughs> and we're probably going to have to select it again, yep. Uh, MP Manager and change map. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the map name sample scene 2. So if we go and change map, uh, oh, um, we are going to need to add it to our build settings. We've got to do that. So add that to your build settings, our sample scene 2. Uh, click on that button and we're now loaded into our sample scene 2. Um, and then inside this scene uh, you can log in. And join or create. And it's waiting for another player right now. Um, but okay, so Let's try this out. <coughs> Again, we're using Playfab, um, so the login is going to stay, but it's um, pretty straightforward to convert this into something where you log in. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of just showing you the basics of it right now, 
and if you guys want me to go into further detail with it a bit later on, I'll see what I can do. Um, I uh, I have not had that much experience with changing map in Photon, it's not something I really do, because most of the games I make are uh, either small or just have a singular map. So, I just log in, oops, I clicked to register, that's not what I wanted, log in. Alright, so we'll, that's a test. We'll switch scenes on this one. And... Can't remember the other test account I made. Alright, that one seems to work. Alright, so let's join our create on this one. And join on this one. And... Okay. So we have the sync incorrect, we don't have the map though. Alright, um... There is a chance that it isn't... It isn't working because this is in the wrong area. Uh, let's see... Public override void might be on... <clears throat> on joined lobby, we might have to do it. Uh, so let's give that a try. So on joined lobby, automatic scene sync equal true. Save. Wait for it to compile, and then we'll build the game again. Another thing you could do is only list rooms um, that have the same map ID uh, of the current player selection, um, which wouldn't be too hard. Um, okay, so play. And we'll play this one. Switch to our scene 2 with this one over here. And log in with this one, do you want to create, and then hopefully joining on this one, nope, still doesn't switch scene, hmm, uh, let's see, um, I'm trying to lobby. Automatic sync scene. Let's see, we might... Let's just try putting it in the start function for now. Uh, actually, no. Um, Connected to master, unconnected to master. Let's do it there. So once we've connected to the master server, let's automatic scene sync equal to true, and we'll also just leave it in there just in case. So let's save this. <coughs> this time I'll run it in the Unity engine just in case there's an error because I'm not building these. Uh, uh, the two clients in debug mode. Alright, we'll play there, and we'll play in Unity. So, we'll leave this one as scene 1, and log in. This one was switched to scene 2. Alright, I'm just going to put it over to my other screen for now. And let's see if this one does anything. Hey, there we go. Okay. So, we're now switched, we've now switched scenes. So, both clients are in fact joined. Um, the only problem is, like I said before, um, the way we've made our game, right, so 
it's not on join lobby, it's on join master that we need to put it over here. So the way, sadly, the way we've made our current game, um, it's not really right for changing our map. Because we've got all our logic on the main map, um, it's kind of breaking everything else, and it'll be a little bit too much of a pain to change everything. So basically the way I would do it, do it like this, right, is have a separate scene for all your UI, login and all that. When you click play game, then switch scene, and then have your photon logic run. Um, um, your, uh, you're going to want to run, so let's see, uh, so over here, right, uh, so we call load scene um, and a map name. What that does is it replaces the current scene you're on. So you're going to want to have your UI scene and when you click that change map, right, instead of scene manager loads it, you want to go scene manager dot load uh, scene async and the map name. And what that'll do is it'll load that map on top of your current scene. So it won't remove any of the current game objects. So then what you can do then is once you've loaded that map and the players inside of that, then you can disable all the UI that you need. Um, so, <coughs> um, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. Um, the only other way for me to show this properly really would be just to start this over and we work through it step by step again. Um, just the way I, this current project is, it's, it's hard to show. Um, but, I mean, if you're up for up for that, then yeah, I'd be happy to. Um, but uh, yeah, basically, if you're on your own project and you haven't really been following along, you've just been watching bits and pieces, all the logic for your initial multiplayer, joining, connecting, all that, should be in its own scene. All the UI should be in its own scene. Once you hit that play game button, you want to load a scene, um, you want to load scene async, um, that'll load the scene on top of your current scene, and then you want to find your spawn points from there. Right, because uh, currently, uh, if I can figure out what it is, spawn points. Right, so we, oh, do we actually find it? Uh, oh, we do. Okay, so we do it in start function. So the way we would have to do it, right, is remove it from start function, put it on top of on joined room, so that the new map, it'll find all the new spawn points. Okay, so anyway, that's basically it. Hopefully, I've shown you guys enough and 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 uh, it helps you out um, again leave some comments below uh, on what you want to see next like I said um, I'm probably just because I'm I don't have much time lately and I do really want to continue pushing videos out um, good videos and not any any stupid stuff to just fill time um, I'm probably gonna just make some cool little short um, videos um, just some small tutorials here and there. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, also, I am trying to get into streaming, so if you guys want to see me stream live, um, anything uh, to do with coding, multiplayer, or just maybe just like a six hour game jam session where we just make a quick game in six hours, I'm completely happy with that. It sounds like fun. Um, yeah, basically that's the sort of stuff I'd be doing if I do end up streaming. Um, so far I've just been streaming gameplay, but yeah, I'm, I want to kind of start streaming game dev as well. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, hit the like button. If you guys want to see more, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.